So I may be a little late to the game in getting this video out, but I see a lot of people posting on Facebook problems with putting something like a sky beacon or a tail beacon on their airplane. So this will be a quick video on how to put uh, a sky beacon on uh, this uh, early straight tail 172. So I won't bore you with all this, but here's our sky beacon and everything came in the box, came with some screws and some connectors. This is the paperwork. Uh, the rest of the paperwork is available on their website. Um, all the type certificate information, um, the installation manuals are all online. Uh, but this is your wireless ID for setting it up later. Looks like they gave you a sticker. We're gonna put this guy on. We'll start by taking off. The left side uh, nav light. Now airplanes that have a strobe light here and the strobe light is installed under an STC you're gonna have a problem with the sky beacon. The STC for a wheel and strobe light assembly that may be installed on an airplane does not allow you to remove one side light and keep the other side light. It's a problem with the sky beacon and uh, with the FAA certifying them so quick, nobody really realized this, but if you have an STC, uh, STC'd strobe light uh, on your airplane, the sky beacon is going to give you problems. Take this plate here off. And you can remove your bulb here. We'll save this for the other side. All right, get rid of that. Now we need to get the wingtip off. Okay, I've loosened up the wingtip. I'm gonna take this guy off. This is gonna make it easier to mount the sky beacon onto the wingtip, uh, so we're not dropping nuts inside the wing and all that. All right, so here's inside our wing tip. We have these uh, riveted in uh, Tidman nut plates. That'll be enough for us to mount the sky beacon here. And we'll verify that the holes line up and they should because the whole pattern on this matches the old Grimes light. Uh, our hardware pack here has uh, screws we're gonna use. Also has these little O-rings that they want you to use. Uh, make sure you always reference the drawings and the instructions, but the uh, O-rings are going to go right down in there when we put the screws on. All right, I've already tightened on the other screws. You don't want to draw these in too tight since these are just uh, you know, sheet metal tin ring clips on the other side. But nice and snug, and it's got that neoprene gasket underneath it, so you can kind of feel that thing compressing a little bit. Just give that a squeeze. Take a look inside, make sure you've got good purchase on the screws. Those all look pretty good. All right, the wire's not being pinched, free and clear. Now we can wire it on. So UAvionics supplies these uh, butt splice connectors with the kit. But we're gonna be using these spade connectors so we can remove the wing tip in the future for uh, annual inspections. So here's our old style connector that went to the Grimes light. We're gonna cut that off and since this airplane doesn't have wingtip strobes on the other side, we're not going to be hooking up the wingtip strobe light function on the sky beacon. So all we need is this wire uh, that goes to the switch for the nav lights. And then we're going to take the black wire on the sky beacon. We're going to ground it to, uh, probably not the rib, probably ground it to the tip. Uh, and then we'll make sure there's a good ground coming out here to this wingtip as well. Uh, ideally, the manual says you want a ground that goes to the battery. Uh, in that case, it would require us to run a second wire, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to run an airframe ground. They've already pre-cut the uh, and stripped the wire on here. Uh, we're going to put a ring terminal on the black for the ground. We're putting our other spade connector on the red one. And the yellow one, we're just going to cut back because we're going to tape it out of the way uh, because we're not using the yellow. The yellow is for the strobe light function. Okay, I've got my crimps on. I've got my ring terminal. I'm going to use this ring terminal. It's going to go underneath the wing tip. We've cleared the 
paint off of there. And we've also cleaned the paint off of the, the hole. It's kind of hard to see here in this light, but we stripped the paint back. So I have good ground there. I opted not to do a wire that screws to the end rib because I'm in the field today and I didn't have a length of wire to do that with. Uh, and this will make uh, the wing tip come off easier every time we do a, an annual inspection. We don't have to disconnect or unscrew a, a ring terminal there. So we'll put the wing tip on and we'll hook this up and then it'll be ready to do configuration checks. All right, there's our installed sky beacon. Secured, we got the wing tip back on. It is wired in place. We're now gonna go do a function check. It requires five minutes to warm up. So we turn the nav lights on. We're gonna warm it up for a bit. Uh, there are great videos online uh, at the UEV Analytics website about doing the configuration, so I don't really need to talk about that. We're going to do the configuration, and uh, maybe later next week we'll do the uh, test flight on it. Uh, and I'll go back and do the paperwork.